So today, the 1st of August 2024, the protests have started as earlier scheduled by Nigerians because of hunger and the hike in price of so many things, you know. As earlier scheduled, it has started in some states and I'm going to be bringing the updates to you guys right now. This is Benin and um, Lagos states, K2, Benyasa, all of their... Uh, protest um, activities I'm gonna be showing it here just stay tuned I'll just be bringing the updates to you guys it fa so far so good it has been a, a peaceful protest so far nobody is fighting anybody there's no problem mm? the people are protesting peacefully for bad governance and uh, so on and so forth um, let's go let's go there like the under bridge very close to the computer village and it has been a marathon for us because we had to you know run to catch up with them at every point in time that we're trying to set up this live now we had to pick um you know a tricycle to be ahead of them to be where i am right now at the moment so you can see them right behind me they are trekking from here some say they are going to uh the alausa secretariat that's the seat of government others say they are going from here to k2 but we are not sure what the route will look like until maybe we we'll get to that junction there but at the moment they are singing all manners of protest songs and you can see inscriptions on their placard we need grants not loans that is one beside me here i don't know if the camera can see it we need study grant not loans that's talking about the recently uh, launched uh, government uh, let, let me speak to one of the leaders of the protest here. His name is Comrade Declan. Declan, good morning. Thank you so much. You have been sweating? Yes, I need to. So tell me, what, what's this, what, what, are your, what are your demands specifically? Our demands are very simple. Our demands are written in the faces of hungry Nigerians. Our demand is written on the faces of the streets of Nigeria. Now, what we are succeeded in doing this morning is to tell the government that you cannot hold the people back. In spite of all their court rulings, court judgment that they got, what we're saying is that they said they designated Ojota and K2, but before you move to K2 or Ojota, you must have a house. And an average Nigerian does not have a house. And so most of us slept under the bridge today, under the bridge of Ikeja, and that's our home. So we have just woken up from our house under the bridge, and we're moving to the place government has given us as our own flat. So we're moving to our own flat, to the accommodation given to us by the government. But what we're saying is very simple, that the message has been sent that no intimidation can stop okay. hungry and angry Nigeria. All right, Declan, I'll come back to you. I'm with you throughout the, the protest. So that's the situation right now in the city of Ikeja. That's the capital of Lagos. And you can hear him. They are moving from here to Ketu. That's about several kilometers away from here. Now we 
They put us in pen and we are a penury. We cannot take this anymore. One of the biggest fear of this protest was um, violence, and we can see police try to support. What do you think? Go about back to the history of protests in this country. Instances where we had violence, where instances where you know, it's, it's, it, they are being propelled by the government. The government is the number one criminals. Now, the government are the ones that propelled for our violence. Doing answers. Let us say government have to organize BRT buses for talks. BRT buses for talks. There are evidences. We are not law breaking people. Yeah, good morning, Nigeria. Today is the hunger day. We all promise you that we are going to be on the street of Abuja. And hunger has brought me out. I can't I don't have money to buy fuel. I don't have money to buy whatever. There is total bad government. And I think I'm encouraging each and every one of us that the government has used propaganda, fake news to tell you that the protests have cancelled. Look at us on the street. The protests have not cancelled. We are on the street. It's 10 days. And if our demand is not being made, we will remain on the street till our demand is being made. Hunger has brought me out. Insecurity has brought me out. Poor housing has brought me out. A lot of things that is going on in this country. We can't just keep quiet as a nation. I'm advising every one of us to come out and exercise our fundamental right as a people. What's your name? My name is Emmanuel Larry.